Welcome to The Stone Report, a time of ministry, news, updates, and exciting information just for you. Now, here is Perry Stone. This is the July Stone Report. We're a little late getting it out, but it's going to air the entire month of July, an exciting month for Voice of Evangelism and OCI Ministries. Here's what's happening. Our partner's homecoming is coming up beginning the, I think it's July 23rd. See, for three, four, five, six, seven, I've got to count it off with my hand. 23rd to the 27th, I believe, but it's on Tuesday night through Saturday night. Now, partners, listen to me very carefully if you're watching this. Monday night is our prayer meeting. We're going to have it in the big lobby of the new uh, OCI Center here in Cleveland. And then we're going to keep uh, ribbons on the doors. And then at 6 o'clock Tuesday night, we're going to be cutting the ribbons. We're going to have a big meeting in the hall and opening the doors for our opening service, which will begin at 7 o'clock that night. Also, when you, if you're coming to the dedication, please be here Friday night. If you're a partner of the ministry and coming to the dedication, uh, be here Friday night uh, at, uh, at 6 o'clock. We have a huge brand new video presentation that we're going to be showing you that I know you're going to enjoy. And that'll be 6 o'clock on Friday yeah, there in July, the, the Friday night dedication. A lot of you know about that. So partners, we're looking forward to the homecoming. And then I want to announce this, that on July the 30th, I'm going to be here in town preaching our first Tuesday night service in the new building at the, the new, new facility in the room that holds a thousand people. Our extreme ministry hosted by Pastor Mark Casto is moving into the new building and that's where we're going to be having Tuesday night services. Uh, we're going to be mentoring people in that room at the beginning of the month of September. And we've got a lot of great things coming up. Now, a couple of things I'm going to show you. If you if you were able to obtain one of these, and this is the OCI time capsule, bring it with you to the camp meeting. Bring it with you to the partners conference. Now, if you can't come, you need to send it in because we are going to be sealing these on Friday at 12 noon inside the building in a vault. Okay, so all of you, Pam and I are working on our letters. We have one of these. I'm giving a letter to all my kids. I'm giving a letter to my future grandkids, although they're not here yet. Uh, pictures, and, and these are going to be sealed up for 20 years and open in 20 years. You'll have a certificate. Those, everybody knows about this because we're out of these now. But if you have those, bring those to the Partners Homecoming. If you don't have it, please send it in so that we can get it in the vault, all right? So that's a little bit about that. Uh, let me just share with you some of the exciting material that we have. If you didn't get the book, which is called uh, The Prophetic Future Concealed in the Feast of Israel, one of our new books, that is still available through the ministry. This has gone quite well. We have a good response from that. And then the other book, which I'm very excited about, which has become one of our uh, most, most asked for books is Breaking the Code of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit from a Hebraic Perspective. If you don't have this book, please get this book. Uh, we have, you know, I don't want to take the time to read the, the chapters. There's 20 chapters in this book. And also, uh, there's a frequently asked questions about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, my never before revealed confessions, and how to receive the Holy Spirit. That's just three of the 20 chapters in the new book. We also are putting together some two tape CD albums. Here's some of our latest one, dealing with the, dealing with the day of adversity. Uh, which is actually two tapes, two CDs, Building Memorials for the Day of Adversity and uh, CD number two, P Public Victories but Private Demons. And this is just a good, solid teaching to build your faith. My personal prayer secrets, we took this from a cassette series I did several, se uh, several years ago, and uh, we're going to give you just some of the things God has taught us about prayer. And boy, ta hey, talk about prayer. Let me tell you something. I got to tell you, don't let me forget this. I almost forgot it. Thank you, Perry, for re reminding yourself. Uh, Every Thursday night from 8 o'clock to 10 at our prayer barn in Cleveland, Tennessee, we're having over 100 people show up for prayer, and we're raising up firehouses. Now, a firehouse is a place where a person has a laptop computer, and they join us in prayer. They pray while we're praying. They invite people together to pray with us. We have over 100 prayer houses. We're looking for 1,000. Um, and basically what it is, it's just you are praying with us on Thursday. And we identify who you are, what state you're from, and recognize that. And then we come together. We're, gonna, we're, we're believing God to have the world's largest prayer meeting every Thursday night from 8 to 10 o'clock, hosted right here out of the prayer barn in Cleveland, Tennessee. Now, you can go at OCIMinistries.org or Perry Stone. Um, Dot org, and you can click on to find out how you can watch prayer live from our prayer barn. And the requests are printed out at the prayer barn. We actually have a camera set up with a booth where someone prays individually over the request. We had three miracles last week of healing. We've had uh, several miracles of healing over the Internet already, and we're just getting started with this. This is going to happen every Thursday night. And even when we have um, meetings here and conferences here, 
uh, we're going to have somebody in the prayer barn praying consistently. Prayer is going to be the key to survival, to revival, to, to restoration, to reformation. Prayer is going to be the key, and it's going to happen right here in Cleveland, and we'd love to have you be a part of that. So I wanted to say that before I forgot. Let's go back to the product here now because people always want to know what's new, what do you have available. Here we go. This is called Getting Healed of Cirrhosis of the Giver. It's an excellent, excellent teaching on giving and building your faith in, in your finances. Israel, God's time clock to the second coming. This is a prophetic message that was preached recently, and the subject says it all. Then we have what is, um, what is the Battle of Armageddon? This is a very detailed 70-minute uh, teaching on the Battle of Armageddon, uh, many questions that you've asked us over the years. We're going to answer them on this audio CD. The Return of the Quickening. I love this teaching. This deals with, this is a message on the Holy Spirit. In the night it was preached, over 100 people received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. So I believe you'll enjoy that if you want to get that. What do the righteous dead know? This is a question people ask me all the time. My mother has gone to be with the Lord, my father, etc. Do they know I'm, are we family? Will we be family in heaven? Do they know me? Do they know what's going on on earth? We try to answer a lot of those questions on this audio CD. Uh, lessons from the old time saints on surviving an economic crisis. This will be one of our offers that will be, will be coming uh, in the very near future on the manifest telecast, but you can also get it separate here. The spirit that bothers five out of 10 Christians. There it is. Uh, find out what it is and how to deal with it there. Real quick, my six favorite prophecy messages. Here they are. Number one, the coming termination of the church age. Number two, your most difficult questions about heaven. Number three, the kingdom of stone in the land of bricks. Number four, the mysterious feast of weeks. Number five mysterious events surrounding the catching away of the saints and number six the antichrist has a bad set of toes it's the ten toes of the antichrist so i selected these out of 120 messages these are my favorites i'd like for you to get this series which is my six favorite prophecy message now most of the stuff of course you order on the internet but there'll be a number on the screen what you can call our office from nine to five monday through friday and ask for the material uh, ask for you know the book code of the holy spirit ask for it by name and usually they'll be they're able to look it up for you a couple more things i want to share with you if you don't have the noah code um of all the audio dvds i'm sorry dvds that we have uh in our ministry this has been the most popular it's new it's fresh insight uh, it does have uh, some information i did not know when i began to research some jewish history to our teaching the noah code and then at the extreme ministry some of you were there when i took the the big board and i began to draw this out and this this really we had people in our ministry who didn't believe in the rapture. They didn't know if it was real. They had doubts about it. And after this teaching, they said, we finally understand, Perry, what you've been teaching all these years about the, the, the rapture. Anyway, explaining controversial uh, questions about the rapture. This is a DVD as well. And then one that I'm very excited about, which is needed now more than ever before, Defending Your Faith, three messages that I taught at the Extreme Ministry and Charlie brought the TV camera and he taped me uh, t teaching this with, on, on DVD. Here we go. First one is called, Is It Okay to Be Gay? This answers a lot of questions about the, the gay lifestyle. What does the Bible teach about it? Uh, uh, you know, what causes uh, people to go into that lifestyle? A lot, of, a lot of questions answered there. Abortion in the Soul of the Child is the second DVD. And that one deals with when does the soul and spirit come into a baby? And uh, is abortion wrong if the soul and spirit is not in the baby up to a certain point? So again... We, we do word studies. We do a lot of uh, biblical, you know, some of the Hebrew and Greek words are very significant to answer this question. And also, honey, I shrunk the Bible that deals with the integrity of the Bible. That one, by the way, does have a number of pictures on it from Israel that we want to show you. Now, all of this is new material. Let me talk to you for just about, uh, maybe about two minutes if you'll just give me your heart for just a minute. You know, God blessed us with the facility to have someone to step in the gap and stand in the gap with us to help us to be able to take care of the debt on the brand new OCI facility. And when people do that, a lot of times even partners will say, well, Perry doesn't need our support because he's got somebody that's supporting them to do this type of thing. That was a one-time gift. That was a one-time deal. It had nothing to do with VOE. It had to do with OCI and the building. Uh, we have a lot of television airtime that starts coming due from the summer all the way to December. And um, not just that, but our ministry to prisons, not just that, but our ministry to the, to the addicted, not just that, but our missionaries overseas were involved in, in taking care of an orphanage in India now. In fact, we're supporting several orphanages. And so I just want to say to you how much I appreciate your prayers. First of all, that's primary. 
uh, first thing, but also your support. It, it, never say to yourself, that $10 a month doesn't make a difference. That $5, $20 a month, $25 a month. Never say that because God is watching you give. And what we do, we put everything back in the ministry. You've heard me talk about this, the seven-point outreach reaches that we have to try to get the gospel out. We have a great team here, a great staff, both, both here and at OCI, that work very, very long hours and hard hours to get the gospel to the nations of the world, 249 nations of the world that we're reaching right now. And so I want you to consider, even though it's the middle of summer, vacations going on, people are busy, I want you to consider uh, contacting us with a special love gift to help us through the summer months as we come into the fall months, because I'm telling you, there is so much getting ready to happen. Uh, for you that live in the Cleveland area, don't forget that you can attend. You don't have to live in Cleveland. You can live anywhere and drive into the Tuesday night extreme services July the 30th. If, if you're going to be in town, I'm going to be preaching July 30th at our first uh, service at the extreme. Everybody is invited to attend, and from that point on, every Tuesday night, we're going to have a great service. And then beginning in September, we're going to have one Sunday night, what we call Camp Meeting Live, one Sunday night a month at 5 o'clock in the evening. Normally, it's toward the end of the month on a lot of the schedules that we have. And we're going to have just absolutely throw down Holy Ghost anointed camp meeting like we grew up in, like my wife grew up in. We want to see that restored to the church. And we're going to start it off with one Sunday night a month. And we'd love to have you come and be a part of that. It will start at 5 o'clock, not 6, 5 o'clock. That gives us time to have a move of God, still get you in time to get home. And let me just say to all of you youth, group, uh, youth pastors and youth leaders, we'd love to have you just bring your youth group and bring a lot of your young people out on Tuesday nights. Uh, we're, we're not connected to a particular denomination. We're connected to the kingdom of God, and we're kingdom-minded. And uh, so Baptist kids, Methodist kids, Presbyterian kids, Pentecostal, Charismatic kids, youth are all welcome to join us in these great services. Now, we've got a lot going on, and I'm going to be telling you more about that in the month of August. Don't forget our fall meeting, which is coming up October 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, which is our main event. It will not be at Hickson now. It will be here in Cleveland, Tennessee at the OCI facility, and uh, we can't wait for our partners to get here and actually see what the Lord has done. We're walking people through the facility now, some of our uh, minister friends, and I'm just telling you, every one of them say, we've never seen a facility like this made for worship. Nowhere, no time, no place. We give God all the glory, but we want to thank each of you for your prayers and your support. All right, stay in touch with us as uh, on Ministry Facebook page. Go ahead and log on and become a fan on the Ministry Facebook page, Perry Stone Ministries. And uh, there's only one. Sometimes these guys from Africa take my picture for some reason, and they try to start their own Perry Stone Facebook page. But, you know, the guy that has uh, 300 friends, it's not the Perry Stone Facebook page. It's the one that has the 82,000. And number two, let me say something to you. I don't use Facebook to raise money. So if you get this message it's supposed to be for me that I'm stuck in uh, Zimbabwe somewhere and need an offering to get on a plane. I ain't going overseas unless I can get an offering to get on a plane, okay? So don't let, you know, with technology out there the way it is, people are getting duped and they're, they're posing as other people. I, there's only one of me, okay? There's not a twin. Aren't you glad? There's only one of me. There's only one ministry Facebook page that we have, and that's the main one with over 80,000 people. So I want to let you know that. So if somebody starts contacting you that claims to be me, you contact us and we'll take good care of that person. Person, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, so anyway, we love you and we appreciate you. My family's Italian. Does that make sense? Anyway, we love you and appreciate you. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you partners at camp meeting. And it's going to be a great time in the Lord. I cannot wait. God bless you.